Gomer! Gomer! Get your lazy bones in here and fix my bath! Master, are you sure you need to take a bath? You just had one two weeks ago. <laughs> you smell all right to me. My mama never let me take a bath unless I smelled bad. She would say, Gomer, you smell bad. Take a bath. Be quiet, Gomer. I've had a bath every day for the last two weeks. No thanks to you. Joseph fixed it for me because no one could find you. Now get going. Well, okay. I'll fix you a bath if you want me to. Personally, I think it's a waste of water. You smell fine to me. I always say, if it don't stink, don't clean it. Ugh. Why can't he be like Joseph? Master, do you have a few moments? Of course, Joseph. I always enjoy talking with you. I just wanted to give you an update on what I've accomplished so far today. I sold all the surplus wheat to the neighbors for $4,000. Then I bought 150 head of cattle from the Muites and turned around and sold them to the Stakeites for $10,000 of profit. All the barns have been repainted, the horses washed, the sheep are sheared, and- Whoa there, young man. It's only 11 a.m. We haven't even had lunch yet. How did you get all this done? Well, I got up early this morning and prayed that God would be with me and prosper my way. And he did. Well done, young man. Why don't you take a little break and catch your breath? Oh, I can never do that, sir. I left the other servants that I'm training. They're grooming the camels, and I promised them that I would be right back. Wait, I wanted to tell you about your promotion. Promotion? I'm putting you in charge of my house. Every servant, all my money, everything. You work hard and I trust you, Joseph. You are the jewel of the Nile as far as I'm concerned. Wow, thank you, sir, but it's God working in me. He has given me favor with you. God's favor put you on top. I will not disappoint you. I wish there were more people like Joseph in the world. This would be a better place, that's for sure. Potiphar, I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter? Oh, Joseph, he attacked me. Joseph? Joseph? No way. Here's his robe. No! I am beside myself with joy. My life has never been so good. Since Joseph came, everything is running so smoothly here. I get to go home at night to be with my wife and children. The cells are clean, no more fights. I even got a raise since I put Joseph in charge. What a jewel he is. Well, Mr. Jalen, it looks like your life has just gotten harder. Remember that dream Pharaoh had? The one Joseph was sent to interpret? Oh no. Do you mean to tell me that Joseph could not tell him the meaning of his dream? No, no. He told Pharaoh what the whole thing meant. Hey, where is Joseph? You did not bring him back like you promised you would. That's what I came to tell you. You see, there's been a little change of plans. It seems Pharaoh liked Joseph so much, he made him vizier over Egypt. What is this vizier? You don't know what a vizier is? He's second in command over all of Egypt. He answers only to Pharaoh. You could say he's the jewel of the Nile. It is the favor of his God, I tell you. God's favor puts you on top. Joseph is a foreigner, a Jew. To think that he has been a slave since coming to our country then a prisoner, and now he is second in command. A vizier. I'm happy for Joseph. His God is good to him. What you have told me today is wonderful, super, excellent, outstanding, incredible. Wait a minute, what am I saying? Who is going to run my jail now? You are. That is what they pay you for, remember? I think I'm going to start worshipping the god of Joseph. I could use a little favor in my life. What am I saying? A little favor? I need a lot of favor. Eat our 
shepherd boy. I want my mommy. There you are, Wooly. Are you okay? David, it's you. You're alive. Of course I'm alive. I have God on my side, Wooly. That lion didn't know who he was messing with. Are you hurt? No, I don't think so. That lion was about to eat me. I know. I got him just in time. You're a pretty good shot with that slingshot. I've had lots of time to practice. That and writing songs to God keeps me busy out here, not to mention the occasional barren lion attack. Weren't you afraid? Nervous, maybe. I wouldn't call it afraid. I was afraid enough for the two of us. I'll bet you were. So how come you weren't afraid? Well, God stands up for what is right. That's how I want to be. That lion was wrong for trying to eat you. And I wasn't going to just watch it happen. That lion was wicked. Yes, he was. I'm writing a song about walking in my house with a perfect heart, not putting anything wicked before my eyes. What's the name of the song? Psalm 101. You pick really weird names for songs, but you write good lyrics. I hope I never see another lion. Wooly, why would anyone like someone that was wicked? What are you talking about, David? There's this giant called Goliath. He's one wicked dude. All the Philistine kids have posters of Goliath in their bedrooms, like he's their hero. And they all have Goliath action figures. I read that they're making a video game called Goliath the Terminator. What's a video game? I don't know. Why do kids like this Goliath if he's as wicked as you say? That's the confusing part. Why choose a hero that's wicked unless, unless you want to be wicked too? What? Kids want to be wicked? Kids imitate the people they admire the most. That's why I choose godly heroes. Who are your heroes, David? Joshua and Caleb. They obeyed God and defeated giants. You're my hero, David. I want to shoot a slingshot like you so lions don't mess with me. Can you teach me? Sure, Wooly. I'll teach you. But let's go down the hill so you don't hit the other sheep. King Saul, we come from the town of Kila with news about David, the one you are seeking. Keep your distance! Now who are you? I am Mayor Wakatuk of Kila. This is my most trusted advisor, Yoda Beta Huda. Yoda Beta Huda! What about David? I heard he was staying in your town. Oh, he most surely was. David saved us from the Philistines. Pray before he came, David did. Come help us, God told him. My most trusted advisor, Yoda Beta Huda, says that David prayed before he came to Kila. God told him to come help us. I don't really care why he came. Where is he now? He left two days ago. Pray to God, David did. Told David you were coming, God did. Leave now, said he. Two days ago it was. My most trusted advisor, Yoda Beta Huda. Yoda Beta Huda, I already know what his name is. You told me a hundred times. Get to the point. Uh, yes, uh, well, uh, my most trusted advisor, Yoda... He says that David prayed and God told him you were coming. God told him to leave, and so he did, two days ago. You're right, boss. Wow! Come from where, did he? That's my spy. I sent him into your town to look for David. No sign of David or his men anywhere. They were here, though. The wall in the men's bathroom says David and his men were here. They left two days ago. They left two days ago. Two days ago? I've heard that already. Pray to God, David did. Told David you were coming, God did. Leave Kila now, said he. Who are you? This is my most trusted advisor, Yoda Beta Huda. Yoda Beta Huda! Oh, the most trusted advisor, Yoda Beta Huda! Yoda Beta Huda, I know, I've been told a hundred times. Get to the point. 
He says that David prayed and God told him we were coming and to leave Keela. I know that already. Somebody tell me something I don't know, like where David is right now. He left two days ago. He left two days ago. I know that already. How is it that God tells David my every move? Smooth is the path of David. Hungry to learn from God, David is. My most trusted advisor, Yoda Beta Huda, says that David's path is smooth because he's hungry to learn from God. The most trusted advisor? Say his name and you're fired! The guy with the funny name says that David's path is smooth because he is hungry to learn from God. I don't care! Where is David now? Uh... He left two days ago. He left two days ago! I know that already! A strong desire to learn God wants his children to have. He says that God wants his children to have a strong desire to learn. I don't care. That does it. I quit. I don't want to play anymore. And you, spy, you're fired. I'm fired? What did I do? I don't know why he's so grumpy. I thought we were very helpful. Grumpy is strong in that one. 